Hey you, now guys are coming at you today with a mini chat about iron ore. I wanted to talk about a lot of the different items inside Black Survival and how they affect the flow of the game, how people path, and what you can do with them. I'm hoping that this will help you get a better feel and grasp of how the game works. So let's cover the basics. Iron ore, it gives you three of them when you pick it up, at least when it spawns. If somebody uses one, you want to get less. It's 1.27% uh, ice block supply drop. So when you take ice blocks before you take enter the game, you can get iron ore. It, uh, Hunting Dog also has an ice box supply drop in its drop table. Uh, so does Bear, Gorilla, and Crow. So when you kill those, you also have the potential for getting iron ore. This is very handy if you need iron ore and all the areas are closed and it's something to gamble for. It's also why animal control is important. Uh, other notes, Trail has seven of them, Forest has four, Cemetery has five, and Lighthouse has three. So, the biggest takeaway of Iron Ore is they're the main component of hand weapons. It's used in Iron Man's Hand, Bloodwing Knuckle, Fenrir's Claw, One Inch Punch, Brazil Gauntlet, Meteor Gauntlet, you get the idea. It's not uncommon for hand players to be carrying Iron Ore to not only make their first and second weapon, but also make a steel armor set, or an Iron Claw, or a Sword Stopper during their Iron Sheet set. It's also not uncommon for hand players to make Iron Knuckles and Iron Claws for the free extra mastery it provides when you craft a weapon you just get mastery for that. Because of the abundance of iron ore on the map, this in turn makes hands have some of the quickest to build weapons in the game, as well as setting them up to build their armor. In general, if you're seeing a lobby full of hand players, it's a good idea to attempt to secure iron ore before it gets spread across the map. In general, during the mid-game, you'll have difficulty finding iron ore in forest, specifically due to the fact that a lot of people stop by there to make iron claw for their sword stopper, thus depleting forest of iron ore and claws by nature. In lower level lobbies, where you tend to see a lot more hands, a lighthouse tends to run out of iron ore since a lot of players make the mistake of not moving the trail after getting their knuckle in boiling water, since trail has way more iron ore drops, making it way more efficient to just move straight to trail at that point. Um, that's probably the biggest mistake I see with Lighthouse Start. You can also find iron ore dropped in places like slums, beach, and factories, since a lot of people take iron ore there to make steel and then drop the remaining iron ore there. This makes going to factory to make arcane motor. Uh, let me pull up that real quick. You're going to want to see that. So it makes going for arcane motor really quick because what you're finding there is you're going to find the scrap metal at factory. There's a good chance somebody has left iron ore there. And then the next thing you need to do from there is make a motor where you can get a wire. So this really sets up arcane motor very well just by going to factory and even going into uh, lighthouse too because at lighthouse you got gunpowder, you got the iron ore, and you also got the battery. So factory into lighthouse is not uncommon for trying to rush out an orange weapon. It's just a good way to think about how to quickly get wickline weapons out. Um, if this is something you liked, uh, please leave a like. These videos will generally be shorter because it's just a smaller topic, but I feel like they're also important for understanding the game and getting into it quicker. Uh, I also post videos every single day at 8 p.m. EST. If this is something that you like, please leave a uh, Excuse me, don't leave. Please subscribe to my channel. You can always unsubscribe, it's free. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.